Salud. Most of the lot of dudes is dead. Some folks are being polite, some rude instead. Yes. <laughs> you know, it's dumb, and I don't know if anyone will relate, but if there's a single thing I'm most proud of, it's probably my lifeguard days. I, uh, not your children? You know, I, I was thinking of that, not but it's, it's not a single... I don't know, it just feels like a <laughs> spectrum. Christ. Yeah, raised a bunch of kids. But no, no, so I, I used to be lifeguard in the ocean, and I saved a bunch of lives. Okay. Well, That's you only had to saying. save them because you, like, let them go out to... You were like, yeah, you, yeah, keep on going. So yeah. wait, on when going. were you a lifeguard? What years? I... Uh, of my age, I'll say like 17 to 21. And Pam can suffer. When I was in high school, I used to be like, you know, Ghana doesn't even have an Olympic swimming team. I could make it. <laughs> I could make it. <laughs> it's just you and three real tall skinny guys who are drowning. <laughs> No, 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 it's you versus three tall skinny guys, and they're collecting the pool water to take home. <laughs> no, 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 it's you against three really tall skinny guys, one of them's drowning, the other's collecting the clean water to take it home, and the other one's just taking the first bath he's had in, like, a year. <laughs> I, I... All the water's all soapy, <laughs> he's ruining it. Yeah. Oh, this is wonderful. What is <laughs> what is over there, like, going hard as fuck? <laughs> He's off the blocks like a trying to beat some guy bolt. who's got those water wings around his biceps. <laughs> you, could, you you're like uh, the reverse of Cool Runnings, where you show up in Ghana to join their team. <laughs> this is Matt Woodward. He has a pool at his house. <laughs> this oh. man has a pool at his house, and he is going to be the best swimmer in all the land. And then suddenly, you're just going to be top times in Ghana, and then you're going to go to the Olympics, and you're going to see some like guy from Norway. That guy knows how to swim. <laughs> Damn it, he has a pool too. Bjorn, noted swimmer Bjorn Swimmerson. Uh, from, yeah, I come from a long going. line of swimmers. <laughs> My mother. father could swim. My grandfather <laughs> could swim. My mother could not swim. It is no. One week a year when it's not frozen. <laughs> Dude, so I am not doing it's well. <laughs> If people probably haven't seen PKN, but uh, what happened was I once spent four hours with Dr. Chiz on a Skype call, zooming in on Mongolia in Google Maps, wondering what it's like to live there. You know, like just how populated it was, what kind of society there is, bunch of shipping crates, what's in them. Huh. Yeah. So much of Mongolia what is still like, like uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, people who aren't from the St. Louis area will come to my kind of area and be like, oh, my God, look at all these homeless people. And these aren't like the homeless I saw in when I lived in Boise for a couple of years where I'm like, if something breaks out, I'm going to win this fight. It's like here. It's like I don't know if you have some crew behind that dumpster. You know, the way you just asked me for change, the way when I offered, no, but I'll buy you a sandwich at this corner store. And he goes, Fuck no, nigga. And it's like, all right, I, okay, sorry. So well, like, Boise... at the very least, give me a no thanks. I just offered to buy you a sandwich. There's nothing worse than getting two minutes into a chick story and being like, oh, there's not going to be a punchline. Like, there's, there's not going to be a twist that's funny. It's just your oh, genuinely described <laughs> turtle habitat. Uh, we'll be talking about, more, talking, about, talking about those more later on in the show. But, if you could talk, uh, what would wait. you say? I would tell the people to look down in the links in the description if they just can't wait until we get to them later. Uh, Solid start, everyone. Solid start. <laughs> so, <laughs> suck, suck so, it. So. I started to tell you people about the love of God and how you've been hiding in a bushel basket and you need to be the cream. You need to come out from your bushel basket and spread the word of the Lord and make sure that the people around you know the truth about God. It is better for you to walk into the ocean with a millstone tied around your neck than it is to corrupt one of God's children. I am the cream. And I will rise to the top. Why should I force that on my dog? Yeah, I, I, I feel the same way. I have a pet cobra. And I tell people, <laughs> keep, keep five, dis five feet away. That's his strike range. And you'll be fine. And the other day, this guy... Walked into the five foot strike range. Pfft, he's dead. Yeah, I tried to bring a, what a bucket big... of my emotional support poison dart frogs, and they said, You can't bring this, sir. And I said, It gives me glee to know that I could, you know, <laughs> I, know I see, at any point, I if I get Taylor... too scared of this turbulence, I can just reach my hand in and it's all over. It gives me emotional I see... support. 
feel like it's all so easy, right? Because like there'll be pictures of me or Kyle or whatever, and, it, it, and whatever they're, they're fussing about, there, there can be an element of of truth, like if you're sensitive to it. To Taylor, yeah. it's just straight up like bird heads on people getting married and shit, and it's like you know, yeah, it's. I think it's funny. It's, yeah, they've got some good ones, but it's nothing yeah. you could take too seriously. Yeah, you yeah, can't take absolutely. It like, Whereas it's, me, it's, they're tracking every pound I gain and lose. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a fun community. Uh, but Woody is very sensitive about his weight, so lay off, guys. Oh, yeah. that'll help. I've, I've been thinking about my list of people that I want dead. Hmm. Nothing really specific. <laughs> this whole time. I, I think, I think you people. want to target the homeless first, right? All of the homeless, right? You're shaking your head no, Woody? Why? I am. Why? Only I can't think of a better group. Of of well, I, I will grant you that some homeless people deserve to die. I'm just not sure homeless status is why they deserve to die. I, I, to me, there are a lot of people who have some sort of power or influence who deserve to die over people who just don't contribute enough to society. We might, the, whole, the whole system might melt down without some of those people that, that may deserve to die. I'm talking about, like Clint Eastwood said, deserves got nothing to do with it. Uh-huh. These hobos got to go. All right? They're spreading uh-huh. disease. Drugs. Let's start facing genocide decisions on on him. Right. Honestly, Kyle, if you're picking groups like that, broad stroke, homeless is a pretty good one to start with. That, and then people who at burrito shops reach over the glass and point at the ingredient <laughs> instead of just stating it. It's a tent it. pole yes. topic on this podcast. <laughs> I hate that so fucking. <laughs> like it, it irrationally, I'd rather get cut off in traffic ten times than see the guy in front of me go, "Yeah, I want a uh, chicken." It's like, then how about you f- say chicken? The mag like. Where are we at with uh, people who get their steak well done? Oh. You know, where what kind of re- if it's a shitty restaurant though? Like, I grew up getting my steak well done because I didn't know what good quality meat was because we ate garbage. Like we were if pretty you're poor. Over, let's put an age limit. If okay. you're an adult. Who still gets their steak well done. At a place that steak costs more than $10. At a steakhouse, yeah. Because yeah, well, I mean, if, if, you're, if, if you're going to a Waffle House and you order the New York Strip, you're on my list already. Well, <laughs> uh, now, hang on a minute. Waffle House sells more T-bones than any other establishment in the world. I'm trying to, you know, clear, you know, cut the fat here, Kyle. I need to make big decisions. Yeah. <laughs> They're delicious. I this is my uh, list. Waffle right. House also has more homeless people than any other establishment in the world, so... They, All right, the number one I do see a lot of World Star videos there. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of World Star. So people with well done adults who get well done steak, they're on the list. Ch- uh, Ch- people Ch- who Ch- have said. ear gauges larger than a nickel, I think they should be on the list. I mean, I, I think ear gauge Wait, people. Let's just leave it there. What's the people like, put that ear, thing you know in those the holes that, that they put in there? It's like oh, an ear, yeah. but you hollow in the middle, yeah. You yeah. know what? You're right. I was being really progressive there. How Thanks about for any grown out, man? Kyle. No. Ear not only do How about anyone with a pause load fetish? Pause with load a... fetish. That's not as what? big a group, but that's okay. I'll put it in there. Kyle, people explain this like... for our, our buddy Steve. But I also want to kill all of the stolen valor people because the only thing worse, yeah. perhaps, than flaunting your military service is pretending that you did military service and, and, and fake flaunting it. Oh, yeah, that's Kyle. I'm 100% with you. And that's yep. not a sentence I have always said to Kyle. I have but like that is an anxiety sentence. about that, about like me stealing valor. And because a lot of people will <laughs> ask, would like, do that? Yeah, people ask me if I'm ex military. And it's like, no, I just wear helmets a lot. So my hair is short. Like, I don't pretend to be that at all. But I get I, it frequently. I just go to a black I barber. Love... I, I can't help it. You're, <laughs> you're afraid of it. You're going to slip up one day. Or they go, Are you in the military? And you go, Yes. Ooh, shit. <laughs> now, I'm in, now I'm in too <laughs> deep. <laughs> You know, Where'd you serve? Ah, uh, well, it's reasonable for my age. Uh, <laughs> oh, another person for the list. Perfect. I can't believe I hadn't thought about this. People with bumper stickers. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not with you on the bumper sticker thing. I feel like I didn't it's push going back on the list because <laughs> you have bumper stickers. I, do, I have no bumper stickers, but I sometimes think about, I don't know, just like my little hobby, a little, a little square thing, not a, not a traditional I size. On your I noticed on your varsity jacket you have the paramotor patch. Did you sew that on recently? <laughs> you know I did. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's room on the leather sleeves if you go below the is, elbow. And this is a bipartisan part of my, my bill because you get – you know that Calvin character that's always peeing on something? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's peeing on Hillary or Trump 
or something apolitical. You all got to go. When I see I don't that 26 want, point Oh, if you can drive there, this, you're, if you can read this, you're driving too close. I drive like a bitch or just anything. Anything at oh, all. And, and my kid is on the honor roll, guard. My kid is on the honor roll, and he's gone too. The we worst. have a three generations policy. That's what I'm introducing, just like North Korea. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> like on Oliver Wendell Holmes. Uh, it's, in my country, it's just going to be me. It's gonna, <laughs> you. Uh, oh, that's a good one. People who cross the road diagonally is another one I put, who don't just get right across the road. People who, who cross it diagonally, slowly, taking their oh, sweet time. Oh, is this a non crosswalk? Like, you don't uh, mean yeah. like in an intersection. Mm. That would have been fun picking lists of people to, Me to too. get rid of. Me too. I like this. It's, it, it's, it's very cathartic. It's, it, it's, it's almost like if you imagine that you magically killed them, it's almost like you actually did. And there's a bit of a, a release of endorphins there, I feel like. It oh. makes, makes me feel better. Like, like I can imagine yeah. a world in which they don't exist anymore. Yeah, it, it's like a fantasy what, world almost. What, Taylor, what race would you eliminate? I mean the Irish. That's 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 a national a race. Yeah, yeah. White people? My God. No, bigot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What, who's in your head, Kyle? The Native Americans. The Native Americans. Oh like, my that, God. That job's already done. Like, what, <laughs> how, how many <laughs> Native Americans are left? Like they all got smallpox like hundreds see, of years ago. See, I it, wonder if they're still baffled by the fence to like present day. Right? They went tens of thousands of years. Trading Long Island for that necklace was a bad move. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm keeping a list of all the people we're going to murder uh, in this in a hypothetical reality. Mm. Who else do you have? Um, I have people who take their shoes off on public transport. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Be sure to join us next time for another. Please send your contributions now to... With our guests Dick and Bruce, I think halfway through the show we swap out Bruce and Anthony Cumia and 500. Taylor. Dawn ads. And oh, fuck. Oh, we got Mr. Cumia. What's up, Mr. What's up? Cumia. Can, we, can you hear us? <laughs> working on it. He's got himself <laughs> muted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, he, you're... <clears throat> He's deft. He's got the, the other Tunisian one. knife fighter. He's, he's deafened. Yeah. No, it's fucking back alley Tunisian knife fighter. <laughs> 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 Can't figure out how to fucking set up the audio. Fuck. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the Dawn Dish Soap thing was a meme. Uh, we got a, served a bunch of ads on that on my stream, and uh, we started only standing Dawn, and we, that's the only ad we would watch. Ah, and then, got it. And then I told people, like, hey, I'll buy whatever you want me to on Amazon if you donate that amount of money. And someone donated $80 for me to buy four gallons of Dawn dish soap. <laughs> <laughs> and this, this is on the heels of someone donated $32 for me to buy an authentic beeswax-covered Australian didgeridoo, which I'm oh. getting better. I'm getting better at playing it. I'll, I'll, I'll go grab that didgeridoo at some point on this show and, and show you guys my chops. That's cool. nice. That's yeah. Really nice. It's pretty cool. My dogs hate it, which makes it funnier. They, they really <laughs> dislike the didgeridoo. Taylor, can you help me out? Would you take yeah. the six person layout from the other chat and put it in this chat so that I can open it and work shit for a bit? Sure. Um, if you guys want me to, I can, uh, I can duck out and uh, Anthony can replace me. Want to do that, or do you? Uh, what do you think? I'm it's flexible. I could go either way. It just takes it's, me. Yeah, it's, it's your guys' call. I could stay for as long as you want, or or uh, or bail out. Well, that's a lot of pressure to put on me, quite frankly. I mean, you guys are the producers of the show. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Woody, how about this? I'll duck out, and I'll let Anthony take over. I'm glad all four of you are still together, by the way. I was kind of worried cruising your subreddit about some of the shit that was going on there. Our subreddit is uh, excited bunch of guys. <laughs> <laughs> they make some all... really funny memes, though, man. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> we all get along pretty, pretty fucking well in real life, you know? I, 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 yeah, we do. I, it, 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 it is I, funny I, I when like... like people will be like, oh, I... There's gonna be a huge explosion between Woody Taylor and Kyle, and then like seeing that post, and then that day when we signed up to PKN, like signed in, it was like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" And 
Yeah. I can promise That's you I will accent. never go on your subreddit <laughs> and leave a uh, seven point uh, seven points of light list about what's wrong with your show. That I can promise. <laughs> <laughs> As a guest, I would never do that to you. I would never go shit all over your subreddit. I need you. bullet points, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're writing it in full paragraphs, not reading. <laughs> bullet points. Those traffickers involved in the kidnapping was spotted in an aircraft leaving Guadalajara on Saturday night. There's the formula. Let it breathe. Yep. A lot of shows, yeah. a lot of hosts, and this is something you do that is fantastic and rare. Let your guests talk. Let them, and if you have a guest, a room full of guests, let them have fun. If, if you hear funny shit going on, a lot of people, their ego gets in the way. Yeah. And they feel, hey, it's my show, my name's on the marquee, I have to jump in and say something if something funny's happening back off leave yeah. it the fuck alone 